right, we're going to do uh, the YMCA submax testing protocol today. Um, this is a multi-stage test, three minutes per stage. You're going to be cycling at an RPM of 50 revolutions per minute. Uh, the first stage is a set uh, resistance, so we're going to start at 0.5 kp. Uh, after that, there's a decision point where we're, we're going to decide what the next resistance will be at based on your heart rate. So we'll get to that um, when we get to it. I'm going to start the test. Um, go ahead and start cycling whenever you're ready. So I started the timer and the metronome to get the proper cadence to the RPM. So this is uh, set at 100. So each beat or each click should be down stroking on, on the pedal on either foot. <clears throat> to adjust the resistance, we use this knob here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So right to make it more uh, tight or higher resistance. Sounds good. One minute in. So we're going to take uh, recording your heart rate at minute two and minute three, just to make sure that you're at a steady state. So. Huh? At minute two and minute three, you should be uh, within about five beats per minute. If you're not within five beats per minute between minute two and minute three, we're gonna extend it to a fourth minute, um, just to make sure you are at steady state. So the criteria for this test uh, is two consecutive stages between 110 beats per minute and 70% um, of heart rate reserve or 85% of age predicted max. You can use either criteria for the top end, but the low end has to be above 110 beats per minute. Okay, so we're at two minutes now. Let's see what your heart rate is, 112 beats per minute. Still 112 beats per minute, so she is at steady state. Uh, we're going to increase the resistance based on the criteria in this test. So we're going to go up to 1 kp now. So we'll look at this. Go ahead and keep that steady cadence. Nice job. Okay, so we are now in stage two of the YMCA protocol, and we went up by half a kp, so she's now pedaling at one kp resistance uh, based on her heart rate from, at the end of stage one. We're gonna take heart rate again, a second minute into this second stage, and at, and at the third minute of the stage. Plus or minus five beats per minute around 128, we can stop the test because we have two consecutive stages um, with this heart rate. Um, so the reason we are setting the lower end of the target heart rate at 110 beats per minute is because that is where uh, it's estimated that stroke volume begins to plateau. Uh, and so we can extrapolate the increase in VO2 uh, based on an increase in heart rate if stroke volume has plateaued. Um, so this is one of the main assumptions of this test and uh, may or may not be uh, appropriate given an individual's fitness. 
reference level and age, but um, this is one of the limitations of the subject's test. Okay, so we are at the end of this second stage. Her heart rate is at 131 beats per minute, which is within uh, the range for steady state. So we have reached criteria for two consecutive stages being huh? at within target heart rate. So we can stop the test now, go ahead and stop heavily. And that is YMCA cycle test. Okay, so we're gonna do the H-Tran rhyming step test. Uh, this is a six minute test, a single stage. Um, so we have a heart rate monitor on the subject. Uh, I'm gonna start the timer uh, whenever you take your first step and I'll start the, or the, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. So this test is, uh, consists of several different components that we want to control for. The first is the subject's uh, body mass, which we have on the nomogram sheet. The second is the step height. So uh, the step height is different for men and women. Uh, women, it's a 33 centimeter box, and for men, it's a 40 centimeter box. And the final thing that we want to control for is the step uh, cadence, or the, the rate, uh, which is why we have uh, the beeper. Um, so Betsy's going to step for uh, six minutes. At minute five, we're going to take her heart rate, and then we're going to take it again at minute six. She's, she's currently wearing a heart rate, so hopefully uh, she'll be at a steady state heart rate that's plus or minus five beats per minute uh, for minute five and minute six. We will we'll average those two heart rates and then record them on the nomogram sheet. Uh, to calculate her uh, or estimate her VO2 max. So the target heart rate range for this test is between 125 beats per minute and 170 beats per minute. Uh, we are trying to get this individual to a steady state heart rate so that uh, we can extrapolate the, the VO2 um, and control, trying to control for the uh, stroke volume. Um, so it needs to be above approximately 110 to 120 beats per minute. So above 125 gives us plenty of room to account for that. So the details for the A-strand uh, step test uh, are in uh, ACSM manual on page 89. This is in chapter four. So if you, if you want to look at that, What's your heart rate? It's minute five. Uh, 159. Okay. And it's minute six now. What's your heart rate? Uh, 161. Okay. So we are uh, within five beats per minute. Uh, so she's reached steady state. Nice job. And that's the A strand step test. This is the A strand rhyming cycle test. It's a single stage test for six minutes. So you're gonna pedal at 50 RPMs so in the start metronome. And go ahead and start cycling whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna adjust the power to 1.5 kp. So for this test, uh, we want to choose a work rate that gets the individual's heart rate between 125 and 170 beats per minute. There are two different uh, work rates that you can choose from as a male or a female. For unconditioned females, it's 300 kp meters per minute. Uh, for conditioned females, it's 450 kp meters per minute. For men, it's uh, 450 and 600. So um, the appropriate setting for this work rate, which is 450 kp meters per minute, is 1.5 kp. So the resistance uh, is calculated from the work rate. So 
again for this test, we are uh, taking the individual's heart rate at minute five and minute six uh, to get a steady state heart rate uh, at the end of the, the test. Um, we are going to use the work rate uh, coupled to the oxygen consumption on the nomogram to um, and, and pair that with the individual's heart rate at the end of the test to estimate the VO2 max. So for this test, the individual can choose the particular work rate that they want to use. Um, and it depends on the individual sex and whether or not they are in, they feel that they're in a conditioned or an unconditioned state. So for women, uh, the conditioned individuals can choose between uh, 450 or 600 kp meters per minute. Uh, for women who are unconditioned, they can choose from either uh, 300 kp meters per minute or 450. Um, so Betsy is currently at the 450 kp meters per minute, so it's in between unconditioned and conditioned individuals. For men, the uh, choices are between, uh, for unconditioned men, the choices are between 600 kp meters per minute or 450 kp meters per minute. Um, for conditioned men, they can choose between 600 kp or 900 kp meters per minute. Okay, it's been five minutes now. What's your heart rate at? 153. Okay, it's been six minutes now. What's your heart rate at? 151. Okay, so she's within five beats per minute from minute five and minute six, so you are finished with the test. Good job.